Hi, we like to talk about TV films and comics on this channel and today we're going to talk about a comic book called Superman Smashes the Clan. Superman Smashes the Clan is a DC young adult reader comic book by Jean Leung Yang. That's it, so Jean Leung Yang. Um, and it is a period piece that stands alone, separate from any continuity. It's in this smaller digest style format, um, similar to the Marvel Collected Edition digest books that I've also spoken about on this channel. Um, this is set in 1946 and has a, a Golden Age Superman um, with a suitable power set, meaning he hasn't got his heat vision yet, although that comes in later in the book, he can't fly um, and he's just sort of super fast, super strong and got invulnerability. He hasn't even got x-ray vision at the start of the book. Um, he is in Metropolis as Clark Kent um, and you follow a Chinese family, um, mum and dad, older brother, younger sister, as they move from the Metropolis Chinatown to one of the suburbs because the dad gets a new job because he's a doctor, uh, a scientific doctor that is. Um, they face racism as soon as they get there uh, with snide remarks um, and then outright racism when a local clan, um, they're called the Clan of the Flaming Cross but they're essentially the Ku Klux Klan, they dress exactly the same. Um, puts a burning cross on their lawn. They're sort of too proud to really accept much help, but you know, a black police officer says, look, you've got to have our help, we might as well just go home. Um, and you know, they try and get on with their lives. In the background there is a, a Superman plot unrolling as you find that there's kryptonite um, being studied at the lab that the family's dad works at. Uh, but you find that the clan has got ties into that lab you find that the clan isn't necessarily just out for ethical, I suppose, not ethical, um, ideological um, beliefs. It's out to make money as well, which I think is a bit of a commentary on sort of cults and things. Um, and you also find that the children are facing racism in their day-to-day -day lives from their friends, um, particularly when the son is good at sports. Um, you, you get the story from the point of view of Roberta, the young girl, and it's a really good character study. You you really feel for this character. The artwork, because it's so nice and clean but still expressive, uh, really makes you feel for the characters. Um, all of them, in fact, but especially for Roberta. Um, you see how she thinks that she's not making friends because she's <clears throat> just in Metropolis's suburbs, but then she finds out that actually it's more just because uh, she was sort of so isolated and insular uh, She couldn't quite make friends in Chinatown. Anyway, so she finds out she bumps into some friends from Chinatown um, I'm trying to say stuff without actually saying too much because it's such a f good book and it's so involving um, I would say read it if you want a story that it feels fresh, but is set in a time period that makes it interesting and set apart from normal DC continuity. It's not just for young readers, not at all. This is for, for all ages. Um, uh, if you want to see Superman and a different take on his origin story, a different take because this shows a golden age Superman discovering his powers and turning into the more modern era Superman. Um, where we can fly, he's got x-ray vision, heat vision, cold breath and it's all because he's got to accept who he is um, and he has to deal with also being an immigrant and being a alien as it were um, and it's just a great read, it's, in, it's very well priced you can get this for less than a tenner at, at the moment new, second hand um, probably even less um, it's got a nice printing on it, the pages all feel as though they're on nice quality paper. The cover of the book is this nice sort of, I don't know what you call it, but it's got this sort of shiny element to it with a matte finish and it feels <clears throat> sort of tacky to it. Not tacky, but it's got a bit of resistance to it. It's a nice feeling book to have in the hand and it feels like it's been put together um, with a bit of <coughs> effort as opposed to some of